quality of players. And so having that into a great matchup like this Tristana, where you are he going wants to, to play around Onat, but now look at Tomio. Oh. The flash with the alt there, the double knock a pop blossom. There's no way to out heal that one, NXI, as you flash away and half the map. No pop blossom though for Tomio. Young on the other side. Vanguard's edge is there. Gonna use that on a Rose Thorn. Looking for the damage. Pulled back in. That was a wish that came out, but it might not have been in time. Or is it? Because they got the resets. Looking for the flash forward. Does pick up the kill for Onat on a Young. Looking at Sazel as well. Tagged by the Permafrost. Pulled back in by the fight. Double kill for Onat. Rift Herald. Team Fish Taco. A lot what less money than the other side of the map in a couple of these fights. And in particular, on Pop okay. Blossom on a Rose Thorn. A little bit of damage on MXI, but this is the okay. problem. When you have a Soraka behind the front line, you can't really do much to the front line, and you're getting chased away. Thorn has to be a little bit careful. Might have overstepped as well. The flash forward, that's three map tagged by Vanguard's Edge, but the wish to ensure that they can turn it around. Spawn's got some damage. The Red Gun's helping out, but he's done to fire the Winter's Bite and Concussive Float. Picked up a kill for Tomio. With the now looking for the other members. Oh, Nat, no way out of this one. Already used the rocket jump. There it is, a little kill. bit of distance. Oh. oh, no, you want to attack the ward and gave over a kill to me. Tomio is here as well. Second prom. Just like second breakfast, waiting to go for this potential fight. That's going to be the pop loss. Oh, against two. Against Onat, especially. But the damage thrown back. Red, white, let's fight. The snipe in from spawn. Even if Tomio did try to start off the fight. Yeah, despite the strength of a lot of their individual players. Pop Some nice flash though from NXI, Ooh. dodging away from Tomio. And even getting tagged there, but it was the wrong one. Lunasia, focus on three, but they hey. got to re-engage. And that's what you need from Young. With Lunasia having to flash away. They flash over, nice. knock up into the wall, looking for the kill. Lunasia tagged, and it's a killing spree for Tomio. You to do more and than that. You got to go all out. You got to take down the AD carry. Maybe right now, Tomio. Found NXI, and that's a big Soraka pop. They got the wish, but look how much damage they did to the carry. And just one simple auto attack picks up the kill for Zazel. Good for catch, split pushing, and well, they just really pulling the here too. Look at this. Whee! There's so much pressure that DSG now has over Taco because that wish is gone. The Soraka is out of there. That turret's gonna fall, and even yeah. with Roaster trying to defend Onat, now you're in a little bit of danger as the Sejuani. You brought back down Lu Lunasia for this play, but you just don't have the damage unless you have both Spawn and Onat here. Oh, that's an ult. There's an ult. But it's going to still be Lunasia. That's oh. what we have to look for. Looking for the all out. Going to be on to Zazel. Not the target you want. He gets first down before he can throw anything out. And look at Meech. Untouched. Unscathed. Taken down, Taco. Yeah, Meech is completely free hitting. Now Zazel and Fake got trying to chase down Onat. Uh, Onat. Tagged by the concussive Bonk. blow, stunned up. One smash of the hammer down, and Fake God takes his first kill. That's Nearly still. the front to back team fights for both sides. CSG, there's no way for Taco to really crack into the back line to get on top of Meech in the first place. Yeah, Fake God, Geese Rose aren't out of there, but here's the actual okay, fight. But the Tomio, it's all Tomio, that's all it really is. That Nico unstoppable, and they cannot do anything to make sure that she is out of the equation, because look at that. Meech toppling down at members left, right, and center of Team Fish Taco. And they collapse at all times. VSG just going to be picking up another turret for themselves. Sazel says the heart is the strongest muscle, and then we are just going to be lining up the siege again. Looking for the engage as well. Sazel takes the brunt of it, but he's still alive, and they've got the re engage. Oh, now it's gone. Double kill for Tomio all out in the back line. We'll pick up the kill on Young, but Taco. Again, the inhibitor has respawned, but here comes Young. the response. It's going to be the TPN. Young unspotted, though. They have no idea he's on the flank. Try to go for the engage onto Lunasia on the other side as Fake God pushing oh. him away. But that's Tomio. Oh. Damn it. Blowing up. Oh, Nat. Is NXI going to be the next target? And you got nowhere to go. Even if you have the Wish of the Redemption, they've got enough damage to chase it down to double kill for Tomio. All the while, Lunasia has been fighting against Young on the other side. But they want the kills on the carries. They don't give a damn about the tanks from the top lane. They want to get rid of Spawn, the person who can wave clear. You're doing just that. But where are you going to go? You can't go back to the base because Zazel's making sure that you're corralled away, chasing you down, even if Spawn does get a lot of damage back on his Hazel, dodging away from the duet, but dies to Young. As they already got the two waves crashing both mid and top simultaneously while bot about to crash into this last remaining inhibitor turret. They punt away the front line. Rosethorn's gone. Lunasia, he's made of paper because he gets cut through by Meech. And this Kogma can chase down Tomio. Double knock up again. There goes NXI as they're cleaning up everyone. Only Onat, the straggler for the team. 
Rocket jumps back to the base. This guy is going to take game one nearly cleanly over Team Fish Taco. I right, great stuff from Disguise. I love it at the very end. DSG will have the opportunity to split push all lanes, but so will Team Fish Taco. They're not letting him move at all. Yeah. Yeah, and can't even get back at all. And now, top lane, there's going to be the first movement for Rose Thorn. Root Caller, no escape for Fake God. They can follow this one up. Even with the dash away, Lunasi has got enough oh. damage for first blood. I cursed him. I cursed him. He had that sheen. Doesn't even TP to the top lane, so he oh. can only TP ah. into the spot lane as Rose Thorn did take a lot of damage. But with the Chaos Storm brewing, Audi Young slowing down as well. Dazel will be there to defend to make sure if the fight continued, they could just turn it around as NXI spawn. Have a little bit of a 2v2 against Meat and Zazel on the other side. The aggro of the dragon has not been relented. Domio has been taking this up for such a long time. They even want to re-engage because it's split up at the moment for Taco. They've got a lot of damage, but NXI oh. is going to be the first to fall as they do get the kill back for the root caller. The cleanse coming in from Meat. They've taken down spawn, but Taco not having the ult anymore for Onat. They do get the root caller on to Zazel, taking a lot of damage on top of them. They're all low. Gravity will will lock down Zazel, but he gets the shield back. Re-engage the flash away from Onat. This 3v2 extended, and the dragon has not been reset. Thorn is so low now. He's got to be careful because they can look to re-engage this one even though the laser pointer does a lot of damage <laughs> for Onat. ESG, finally, it's going to be the dragon resetting. Yeah, and honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if he's very close with the Victor box to getting that Holy. mid lane. It's grand entrance and Onat, he doesn't have the flash, he doesn't have a shield to try to defend him. They try to collapse back onto Young, but he's got the rocket jump out of there. So instead it's going to be Zazel getting a lot of the attention, but with low damage from both a Rel and an Ivern. A simple flash from Zazel will keep him alive. Oh, oh, whoa. Oh. They keep this fight going, though. And look at Tomio on the other side. Even though they do lose Zazel, Rose learns too low to really help out NXI. And they've got the all. They've got a kill. That's a killing spree for Young. Wow. So, either you can oh, stay in the lane oh, oh, or Rosie. you can jump into the bot lane. But we have a lot of uh, fighting Woo. here on Rose Thorn. And with even the shields, it's not enough. The Magnet Storm trying to help out. As Spawn's got a lot of the feathers put down with the Feather Storm as well. Waiting for More the letter fights rip. than Fake God has. It has a lot, a lot of pressure on to Team Fishtaco, who now feel like they have to look for this play on to Hazel, oh. who is a little too far away for comfort. Yeah. But getting this pick is going to be nice, especially if you get that over to Onat. I, I mean, that's some. <laughs> yeah. But now here in the mid lane, Young is going to be clearing out this turret before Shelly crashes. Yep. Yes. So still has full HP, but might not even get the crash onto the next structure. They do push this relatively quickly. Well, it depends. If they can get this pick onto Rose Thorn, that can help oh. out a lot. But that's for Chaos Storm Bruin. The flash away from Young, but here's the re-engage. The Feather Storm. Tomio will fall. One tree takes down another, as it's going to be the Lovers duo as well. One winning out. The Giant nice. has been started up by Team Fish Taco, but Lunasia Hasn't found that way to get into the back line. It's Zazel oh, instead with the engage, oh, oh. the follow-up. Onat's got the charge on top of him. The gas arm, it helps him out. He's still alive. How did Onat survive all of that that was thrown at him? Team Fish Taco, they might have lost Rel, but they're now jumping back on the DSG as Lunasia will pick up the kill on Zazel. The rest of the team onto the dragon. It's going to be and risky. They are pinging towards it. They have two members so far on it. But I don't think they can burn this. It's going to be the TP coming in from Onat. Tomio, like you said, still up. And there's a flash going on the other side. They've got Vision trying to get rid of the control ward. He can go over. Are you going to try to burn it down? There's a smite fight oh. secured by Tomio. You couldn't go for that one, Team Fish Taco. Wow. And now, trying to find another opportunity to go for Fake God. Getting rid of as many Turo Baron buffs as possible from DSG since Tomio was a hero, sealing that away. God should fall here. Enough burn from Onat. Now Onat on a rampage is going to be nice, but with three members still having the Turo Baron Thank before God. DS. This time they oh, got the tank on the other side as Onat ate a second Void Seeker. Now at Four? half health, oh. they go for the engage from NXI, and they burst it down Yong before he could do anything, but they do lose NXI as Fake God getting a lot of attention. Lunasia getting rid of him the best he can. Tomio nearly burst it down by the laser point of the engage coming in from Zazel. Onat still untouched, up into the air goes Spawn, but now pulled back in with all out with the feather recall. They've got Fake God in the pit, almost takes down one. He's burning, but he's going to survive with the heal, the shields, but Onat makes sure it's still going to be a two for two trade across the board. Well, the dragon has been started and still is being wailed away. It's going to be finished off by Spawn. Rosalyn has to give his life, and that's Taco losing most of their members. Wow. 
what a crazy fight. He starts off with a... He's going to be on NXI to try and find another one of these big engages. Fake God, he's the one trying to find pressure. He's taking a lot of damage, and that's going to be Nature's Grasp. Getting the lockdown. They already got him out, though. Onat still surviving, oh. and he's gone. Like, with NXI falling, the tanks are gone on both sides. They, the down. they still have a ton of vision control every single time. It is going to be forcing Team Fish Taco to try and check them. They're doing it with Daisy so far. There's no flashes on Mitra Young. Look at Spawn and look at Lunasia. They're still far from actually joining this one and eating oh, up a Onat. sapling. Onat so low. No Chaos Storm either. Looking for the poke, but it's going to be the secure onto the Baron for DSG without even so much as a fight. Daisy a little bit too early. Oh, but Zazel. look at Zazel on the back line. NXI going to be the tag. No, Rose Thorn. They want to get rid of Rose Thorn. And they're pouring everything for it. With the redemption not in time. It is a trade back one for one. Tomio taking a lot of damage as well. Oh, now got three lanes that are starting to put pressure. Mid lane there and it is. top lane. They're going for the engage. They've got the pick and they do get the first on Azazel, but that's just the support. You haven't got the carries just oh, yet. Me can join in moments notice, but 30 seconds left. Before the Elder Dragon spawns, and Xi goes. Goes for it. Was looking for meat, but wasn't able to get him. Instead, it's Fake God, and he's burst down. He has to go Golden. Zazel re-engaging. It's Rose Thorn starting to go Golden, but they've already lost the engage, and they've got one Guardian's Angel popped. It's Spawn trying to kite it back as they got the all out on the other side. Tomio's got the attention of the carries from Taco, even with the pullback. Meat dies into the back line. This guy's. It might have taken a while, but you got a triple kill. They want to get everybody dead as Lunasia with the guard. Angel, he will only revive to die to disguise with the ace finally there and the game for DSG. I, I want to stand tall at the end of it. Disguise able to fight a 2 0 here in a way that I don't think a lot of us were expecting. Team Fish Taco not winning or coming close in this game by running.